When a teen dove into a lake with his GoPro, what he found unraveled a 27-year-old mystery. But before we start, please make sure to subscribe to Did You Know and hit the bell so you never miss an upload from us. Also, leave a like right now. At a remote lake in British Columbia, Canada, a boat glides through the murky waters. On board, 13-year-old Max Warenka is guiding the authorities to an ominous spot. But when the officials can't see what lies beneath the surface that Warenka has led them to, the child bravely straps on his GoPro camera and dives in. The resulting footage later reveals something horrifying, and it helps to solve a decades-old cold case. The story started in August 2019, when Warenka was staying at Griffin Lake, a popular holiday spot he'd visited on numerous occasions. This time, though, things were a little different. While out exploring, you see, the teenager noticed something strange glistening underneath the water, and he thought it was an out-of-place object that had a distinctly man-made look. In fact, Warenka had stumbled across a mystery resting around 20 feet beneath the surface of the water. So how had this object ended up at the bottom of Griffin Lake? What story might its twisted remains have to tell? Well, with the teenager's help, authorities later uncovered a gruesome secret, and in the process, they solved a case that had haunted one family for almost 30 years. So. Who is this adventurous child? Well, although just a teenager, Warenka had a long history with this picturesque corner of Canada. His family, in fact, owns Griffin Lake Cabins, a small resort consisting of three holiday homes located in the wilderness between the cities of Calgary and Vancouver. But while beautiful, the spot is remote. The nearest town, Revelstoke, is some 16 miles to the east. At Griffin Lake, though, tourists come to experience life away from the hustle and bustle of the cities. While there, for instance, visitors can spend their days fishing and swimming in the cool water or hiking through the surrounding countryside. And when the conditions are right, they can also enjoy snowmobiling and sledding in nearby mountains. For Warenka, however, an entirely different adventure unfolded almost every day. With his parents the custodians of their own slice of paradise, you see, the teenager has plenty of time to explore the surroundings at Griffin Lake. And perhaps unsurprisingly, he soon developed a love of nature. But like many children of the current generation, Warenka is not content to merely observe. Instead, Warenka began documenting his adventures around Griffin Lake. In order to do so, he turned to his trusty GoPro, a hardy brand of video camera beloved by extreme sports fans around the world. But what this teenager captured in August 2019 was a world away from the typical YouTube fair. At that time, you see, Warenka was enjoying one of his many visits to the family's cabins on Griffin Lake. And one sunny day, he found himself in conversation with a family who were also staying at the small resort. The visitors had apparently spotted something strange beneath the surface of the water, and they subsequently asked the teenager to take a closer look. Ever curious, Warenka climbed aboard his paddleboard and pushed out into the lake. And there he spotted the object in question, some 20 feet below him. You could see something almost like a shadow, like an imprint, he revealed to the Washington Post in September 2019. Then you could see something shiny. But what could it be? Fortunately, Warenka was soon able to identify the mystery object. Bizarrely, he realized he was looking down on an exhaust pipe, watching the sun reflect off its metallic sides. And even though the possibility perhaps seemed unlikely to Warenka, it dawned on the teenager that he was actually looking at the submerged wreck of an upside-down car. Shocked at the discovery, Warenka and other guests later looked online for an explanation. And before long, it seemed as if the mystery had been solved. Ten years previously, you see, a car had apparently been lost beneath the waters of Griffin Lake. An internet search further revealed that four people had also been rescued from the terrifying situation. So the residents of Griffin Lake cabins were satisfied that they'd identified the sunken vehicle. They therefore let the incident slip from their minds. At that point in time, we just kind of assumed that this car had been remaining from that 2009 rescue. The teen's mother, Nancy Warenka, told the Washington Post, We didn't call it in. We didn't really think much of it. All that would soon change, though. The following day, in fact, an officer from the Royal Canadian Mounted Police, or RCMP, arrived at Griffin Lake. Having traveled from Revelstoke, he was no doubt looking forward to a relaxing day enjoying a picnic with his loved ones. But then the officer found himself immersed in a strange mystery. According to Nancy, the conversation began casually at first. We just mentioned to the officer that there was a vehicle in the lake and that we couldn't believe it wasn't retrieved from the original rescue, she commented. But the lawman was seemingly convinced that the car from the 2009 accident had already been removed from the water. The officer said to us, well, no, actually, I'm pretty sure that the vehicle was retrieved out of the lake, so we need to investigate this further," Nancy explained. And sure enough, on August 21st, 2019, more officers arrived from the RCMP. When they did, Warenka was ready to be their guide on the lake he knew so well. We took the officers out in our boat, showed them the area where it was, Warenka told CTV News Vancouver in September 2019. 
The water conditions were, however, poor at the time, which meant that officers struggled to make out the submerged vehicle from their position on the surface. And so the teenager resorted to drastic measures. Determined to get to the bottom of the mystery, Waranka decided to get the officers the information they needed. So, grabbing his trusty GoPro camera, which was equipped with waterproof protection, he dove down into the lake. And beneath the murky surface, Waranka was able to capture clear footage of the submerged car. I recommended to the RCMP I had a GoPro so I could use it to film underneath the water and get a better look of the car, Max said in a September 2019 interview with Global News. So I went and swam around and dove down and took a video of everything to show them. With Warenka's footage in hand, the officers then were in no doubt that something strange lay at the bottom of Griffin Lake. In fact, the film, which has since been released online, clearly shows the underside of a vehicle. The teenager perfectly captured its four wheels turned towards the sky, too. But who had the car once belonged to? and how it had ended up there. From the video, it soon became clear that the vehicle had been at the bottom of the lake for a long time. It was encased in a thick coating of mud, after all, and vegetation and marine life had begun to thrive in the rusted wreck. It would, however, be another three days before investigators got to take a closer look. So, on August 24th, the RCMP made yet another trip to Griffin Lake. This time, though, they brought an experienced dive team along with them, and their official underwater investigation soon revealed its first clue, the car's registration plate. The number then linked the submerged vehicle to the 27-year-old case of a missing woman. Apparently, the vehicle had belonged to Janet Ferris, a 69-year-old woman who had gone missing back in the fall of 1992, and her case had never been solved. For nearly three decades then, her family had been left to wonder what happened to Ferris. Would this discovery finally provide them with closure after all these years? As investigators later hauled the Honda Accord to the surface, Warenka looked on with interest. He soon clocked that something was amiss, though. Emerging from the water, the vehicle did not show any signs that the driver had attempted to escape. In fact, all the doors and the windows were closed. It was very shocking, Warenka told the Washington Post. We weren't expecting anything like this. The story, however, was about to get even more gruesome. Because when investigators finally opened up the vehicle, they discovered a body trapped inside. The fate of the missing woman had finally been revealed. According to Ferris's family, the 69-year-old was not local to the area around Griffin Lake. In fact, she hailed from Vancouver Island, some 400 miles to the east. At the time she disappeared, however, Ferris had been driving across the country to Alberta, where she planned to attend a wedding. But because Ferris had been traveling alone, her relatives did not immediately realize that something had gone wrong. Two weeks later, we received a phone call from that family in Alberta asking why she never came to the wedding. Erin Ferris Hartley, the granddaughter of the missing woman, told Global News in September 2019. So Ferris's family eventually realized that she was missing and alerted the appropriate authorities. However, officials were unable to get to the bottom of her disappearance, and after a while, those left behind came up with their own theories to explain why a beloved mother and grandmother had never come home. We kind of assumed that maybe Ferris had gone off the road or fallen asleep or tried to avoid an accident or animal on the road. George Ferris, the missing woman's son, told CNBC News in September 2019, and although time passed, the grandmother's loved ones still wondered about her final moments. They, naturally, therefore, struggled to put the past behind them. It seemed like there was never an appropriate way to grieve because my grandmother was missing. Aaron, who had only been 12 years old when Ferris disappeared, told Global News. Yet despite that, she cherished memories of the 69-year-old, a woman who enjoyed gardening and making people laugh. I miss her, Aaron said. She's a huge part of my life, even though most of my life is spent without her. George told CTV News Vancouver that good memories helped him through the long years of not knowing what had happened to his mother as well. After the first year, you just carry on, he explained. You come to live with it. However, the family is grateful for Warenka's discovery and the opportunity to finally lay Ferris to rest. We are so grateful that this boy went with his GoPro and found her, Aaron told Global News. This is a happy story in the end, knowing her final resting place and that it was an accident. Warenka himself has become quite the celebrity, in fact, winning acclaim for his role in solving the cold case. The teenager even earned the respect of the authorities, along with an apparent job offer for the future. The RCMP will probably be looking at this guy down the road for potential employment, Corporal Thomas Blackney said in a September 2019 interview with CTV News Vancouver. That was good detective work on his part. Investigators have meanwhile concluded that Ferris most likely encountered difficulties while driving along Griffin Lake, and that for some reason, perhaps while swerving to avoid an animal, she lost control of the Honda Accord, eventually ending up in the water. There had been no damage to the front of the car, suggesting that she did not crash. The family now intends to have Ferris's remains interred alongside those of her husband, 
who had passed away before she disappeared. But while they found closure at last, Warenka is still processing the full impact of his discovery. I couldn't imagine that for many years, not understanding what happened to a loved one, he told CTV News Vancouver. Bizarrely, though, it's believed that the previous owner of the cabins spent 17 years exploring the waters of Griffin Lake without stumbling upon the sunken car. Despite its proximity to the shore, this was a whole string of coincidental events, Nancy told Global News. Yet it isn't the only time that underwater footage has helped shed a light on an old mystery. In fact, in the same month that Warenka made his discovery, another story was unfolding thousands of miles away.